Hi guys, welcome to Hey We're Talking. I am Bob Peel. With me, we've got you, Scotty D and Derek that? Kent. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great, Bob. How you doing, Scott? Oh my gosh, what is happening? Is this bizarre it's the beginning world? Of the show. It's the beginning of the show, and I want to remind everybody that we oh, have a sponsor, Gamefly. Goes. Go. Yeah. He, oh, Scott's like, let's see his commercial chops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. <clears throat> Go over to GameFlyOffer.com slash HWT to take advantage of a free 30-day trial of the GameFly service, which is a video game and movie rental service by U.S. Mail. Rent a game, play it, send it back in the mail, and they'll send you another one. And if you take advantage of our offer, you get a month for free. You can rent one at a time, or you can rent two at a time. Probably ought to rent two at a time. Stop it, Scott. You only Stop get it, one at a time for the month. During one, the free trial. one on the free trial, but after that, you can get like three at a time if you sign up for yeah. the program. New games, new movies. It's awesome. Check it out. Gameflyoffer.com slash HWT. The HWT stands for Hey, We're Talking. Boom. What so anyways, about? guys. So anyways, oh what we want to talk about. Oh, Scott, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Oh, no, no go, did man. I? No, oh, no, I no, 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 no. It was just, go ahead. Before the show, you said how Derek and I seemed like we were sleeping and didn't have energy. So I just figured it's true. we'd, it's we'd true. prove that and we I'm, could I'm concentrated it. on Popeye in the background. So go ahead. That's olive oil. Yep. Oh, well, <laughs> look at that timing. Anyway. If you're only listening via podcast, Bob has a monitor set up behind his head, and he's been playing for the last couple of weeks cartoons and wrestling. So Popeye's on right now. Odd last and time random. It was video. I've got, yeah, I've got a whole bunch. I've, dude, I've got a whole just craziness that I'm going to put up there over the next little while, just for the heck of it. Anyway, Scott, it's your show. So uh, <laughs> tell us what we're talking about. No, you started. <laughs> just go, man. I don't know. I don't care. Oh, no, you got to take this because otherwise we're going to have what they call dead air in the business. Oh, dude. We don't want that. That's, That's where nobody talks and it's just silence. So we're either going to hear the sound of silence in one minute or Scott is going to lead the show. So I guess it's silence then. We're not allowed to do that. Uh, okay. <laughs> what is going it's on more, It's more fun to see what Derek's going to do. Derek got very uncomfortable very fast. I know. It didn't take long. That was like two seconds. Well, I was warned before, like many months ago, you don't let there be silence in this show. and You take too long to respond, Derek. So Who told you been, that, Goonie? Uh, you. you. I did? did? Yes. You told me that I take Dang. too long to respond. No, so I said I've your stories to... take too long. No, no, no. You, you, you said that, too, but you also said that I take too long <laughs> when we do our little banter. So I'm trying to take your notes and be better at... I don't at, keep the at, notes. At, at, at podcasting. Well, I remember. I remember, dude. Everything you say It goes sticks into in the vault. Brain. Yeah. And so I'm trying to take the notes and improve myself as a padcaster. So today not, we're talking does, about crazy you, childhood adventures. Are you not somewhat transfixed by this Popeye thing in the background? I'm why are talking. you why are you worried about that? I don't I, just, I can't take my eyes off of it. Toot toot I'm Popeye's the sailor's man. I thought you were talking German there for a second. He was like I think hi 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 hi. Now if if Popeye was German Derek will show us what he sounded like, right, Derek? I am Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> toot. <laughs> wow. I am what I am. <laughs> wow. Bob, tell us your crazy childhood adventures. So one one of the crazy Oh, that's great. So that and that and then we uh we would come out of there and it was perfect. <laughs> tell your story, please. All right, so so one thing we did as a kid, it was it was myself, uh, my older brother, and basically two of my uncles. They were kind of like step uncles, but we were all the same age. Very weird. Anyways, um, we would actually create our, our build torches out of sticks and cloth and T-shirts or whatever we can, and we would actually go into the storm sewers of a town that they lived in. So these storm sewers were, as a kid... They were, we could barely stand at them. They were like right at our head and they were completely dark. 
And these were the storm sewers where if a couple of the canals overflowed, stuff like that, it would actually go through the storm sewers to kind of disperse the water over, over a larger area so there was no flooding. But as kids, we would just go in there with these, you know, torches that we made, and we would actually walk through all these storm sewers. And there was, I mean, we would, we would be gone for hours. And, you know, you'd walk up among spiders and, and uh, snakes and rats and whatever you can. But, and eventually, you know, we'd, we'd go so far and then we'd come to a, a manhole cover to where we actually got some light. And, I mean, that, that was scary as a kid. You know, you're talking, you're talking 9 to 11 years old, somewhere in that range. And you're walking through these storm sewers as a kid. I mean, that, that was a pretty big adventure at that time. And I just remember thinking back on, on some of the, the times that I did it and how my heart was just pounding because you could only see as far away as, you know, your torch would let you. So uh, in retrospect, it reminded me a lot of the it kind of felt like a medieval time, you know, to where they would go through these, these caves and caverns and stuff like that. And uh, they would only have the glow of their torch uh, to be able to get there. We never got in trouble. Um, but we would be gone for an hour or two just walking through these things. And sometimes we'd pop up, you know, many, many blocks away and just walk on the surface home. Or sometimes we'd take that, that way back as well. Dude, you're wow. taking your life in your own hands, man. It was so fun, so scary. But in retrospect, it was so cool. When you said medieval times, have you ever been to medieval times? Yes, I have. <laughs> medieval times tournament or whatever it is yeah it was it was actually it's actually pretty cool my my parents one year took all of us like so my brother and his wife and my brother and his girlfriend and myself my wife and my kids all of us as a huge family and um and i mean we had the whole experience you know you have the soup that comes in this this weird handled bowl it was just like onion broth or whatever and you get, you know, a big old turkey leg or chicken leg or whatever it is, and you're chomping on it like that, and you've got this battle going on in front of you. It's actually pretty cool. Did it you was, call it the was lady? Did you call the lady a wench? Yes, just because I I could. Yeah, that's part of the fun. And I think my son ate mac and cheese or chicken nuggets because he was little at the time. And you were like, dude, how and he didn't want any of that. He was we're like at medieval was like, times. He was like five years old. So at medieval times is cool. What's crazy is I didn't know they had it elsewhere other than here. So, Derek, have you been to Medieval Times? Yes. Uh, within the last year, we have one in the Dallas area, which is uh, 250 miles away. But my wife and I and my son, we all went uh, recently, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, the whole deal. You had to eat the chicken and the soup and the bread and the and the, the pastry of the castle. Yeah, it was oh, wow. a, it was it a was cool. It's a good time. I derailed it with medieval times. I'm sorry. Crazy childhood adventures. Go ahead. Go ahead. Derek, you uh, got one. Lay it out there. Well, you know, we, I, you know, Bob, <laughs> Bob did, the, you know, Bob was, you know, in the urban, suburban environment, you know, after the age of, you know, seven, <clears throat> I was, you know, here in West Texas and it's a lot of, uh, a lot of rattlesnakes lot of, and country music. Yeah. A lot of rural stuff. I would, uh, we would go exploring out into the the brush and everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. We had some fireworks. I remember we had a we had like some kids over from the church, and we had a bunch of fireworks. We would uh, improperly and unsafely uh, blow off the fireworks, maybe starting fires. I don't know. Oh. Damn. The only the only real. I don't know. I really don't have any adventures. I remember taking my bicycle out one time where my parents live now still. And I was going to go riding. It was the dead of summer, super hot. And I got about two miles away from the house and my tire went flat and I had no cell phone. And so I had to basically push my bike all the way back to the house. And I was hot. I was tired. I was in shape, but I was a weenie. And wow, that so, that was very adventurous. Yeah, I know. I'm, it's it's terrible. <laughs> I I cry. I cried the whole way back as I pushed my bike. Oh my and gosh! I was like, ah! I was wailing. That's like how the, old were you? Most of I was like 
15 or so? 23, 23. No, I was, <laughs> I'm sure. 30. I'm sure I was nine or, I'm sure I was like nine or 10. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but, yeah, that's another thing. That's another thing that kids don't get to do. And now, now, I don't know about your son, Derek, because you live in a smaller town, but I used to like ride my bike like everywhere, like far. Because the kids I went to school with, I went to a Christian school, so I went to a private school. And <clears throat> we didn't all live in the same area. So if I wanted to go see one of my friends, a lot of times they would live, you know, five, six miles away. And I would just get on my little huffy BMX bike and ride over there. Just tell my mom, yeah. hey, I'm going to Daryl's house. And I would just ride. And uh, and our parents didn't think anything of it at the time because it yeah. was a different world. I mean, yeah. that, that's what we would do, too. We yeah. would literally be gone from, I mean, we would, there's no sleeping in during the summer. We'd be up as early as possible, grab our bikes, and we'd be gone. And we knew we had to be home at noon to eat lunch. And then we'd be gone again. And then we knew we had to be home at dinner. And then we'd be gone. And then we knew we had to be home when the street lights came on. And that's and then the you'd day. go to sleep. And that was the whole summer as a kid. Nowadays, it's totally different. My kids sit around like, oh, what are we going to do? I'm and they're bored. not out. You know, they ride skateboards and stuff. But it's like, it's totally different than when yeah. we were all kids. Now, I was spoiled and I grew up with an in-ground pool. So everybody just came to my house and we swam the whole summer. But my dad, dad, never heated the pool ever. So at the beginning of the season, you know, in Michigan, people are like, well, it was the summertime, so the water gets warm. Dude, it's a deep pool. It was a seven and a half feet at the deepest part. And... In the summertime, when you'd first open it, so he'd open it on, like, Memorial Day, right? When it's just starting to get warm in the Midwest. And the water was, it was crisp. But I didn't care. I loved swimming, so it didn't bother me. But every kid that would come over from the neighborhood, they had pool. A lot of people had pools in our neighborhood. And they would always go, I hate your pool. It's so cold. And then I'd go to their house, and it was like Get the hell out of my pool. It was like bath water at their house, though. Which I don't like either. That's not that's not refreshing. That's part of the j- enjoyment of having a pool, is that it's refreshing. But my dad liked it a little too refreshing, right, Dad? Did right, dad. did you right. ever did you ever see the movie Fences, Scott? No. That's with Denzel Washington, and it was actually it's new. Like that's a, why um, I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's newer. It came down in 2016. Um, it's a. Uh, it was, I believe, it was a play before it was before and after it was a movie, uh, but there was just a conversation in there between father and son, and I just, for some reason, I just envisioned you and your father having a conversation like that. That's all. That's what you're gonna give us. How, we uh, don't yeah. even know what the conversation is. It was basically. Well, maybe, well, maybe if you go to GameFlyOffer.com/hwt and get in on that free trial, you can rent fences. You can. Whoa! So that it was, it was, was awesome. It was a conversation between father and son uh-huh. where the son says to the father, you don't even love me. What? My dad loves me. And the father said, I'm not supposed to love you. I'm not worried about loving you. I am your father. I am here to provide for you. Nobody ever said I have to love you. And it was this whole My spiel. My dad loves me, though. What and I just about? feel that. I just feel that conversation or that I just have that feeling with you and your dad. He loves you. No, I know he loves me. Yeah. But my I dad was, was so like a nice hard, to me. Like he a would... hard, you know, put his fist down. Scott, I'm providing for you. Your he mother did, and I he... don't have money to heat this pool. We're not going <laughs> to, we're true. not heating this. He pool. didn't turn on the air conditioning in the summer either. See, I, it was but just he's, one of those. Parts. Remember my dad is Scottish. Have you ever heard about the Scottish people? They drink a lot. That's no, all I heard. That's Irish. Wait, but Scottish Irish do and too. Scottish and different? English people. Let's be real. People in Britain drink. Anyway, but uh, Scottish people are considered cheap. My dad wasn't cheap. He was just he worked frugal. dog on hard. Frugal? He worked dog on right hard word? for yeah. his money. Yeah, he's frugal. Yeah. Um anyway, uh no, my dad loves me. Dad, I know. I, be- you love I, me, I believe Daddy. he loves you. I know, Daddy. I he loves Maybe you. it's one of those situations where you're thinking, like, 
I love you, but I just don't like you very much. No, he that likes me the, too. The he vibe? likes me too. I Shut up! So. My dad likes me. Uh, uh, your father uh, doesn't like you. Uh, <laughs> David and Becky Donnelly. You know why I know, Scott. You know how I know like that my dad person. likes me is because he was one of the people that was very nice to me, along with Bob's wife, when Bailey passed away. He was really like my dad was you could tell he loves me because he wouldn't care. He would just be like, it's just a dog. If it wasn't his son, he loves me. Yeah. And my uh, my wife actually Scott told me he goes, hey, man, just want to let you know your wife texted me today. I'm like, she did. (laughs) Yeah. She called me. She was like, what's your number? She wanted to call me on her way home from work. So my wife called Scott to, and to console him about and cried his while dog I that was away. on the day, and, and I'm my like already crying, crying, and she's crying on the phone, and I'm like, oh crap, this is gonna make me cry more. Anyway, well, we had the pleasure of meeting Bailey. I know, so. I know, he was a good dog. Yeah, but everything's good now. I mean, I'm gone. He's well. with Jesus. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. I well, doubt the Bible, it. Hey, well, the Bible doesn't say. No, it that doesn't. Don't go to heaven. But it says that the he's lion with, will be with the lamb in the end. He's with the dog Jesus. There's the, a li- Jesus the dog. The lion will. Well, uh, well, think about this. this we're going to we're going to take this, this down this road for just save a second. this. Yeah, save this for another show because this is no, no. Too we're deep. just going to just for a second. So what what is uh, overall? If you had to describe the theme of the Bible, what is it? It's about love, right? Yeah, man. Sure. I mean, realistically, yeah. it's about love. Yeah. Your dogs love you unconditionally. They do. No matter what happens, your dog loves you. They don't have you. souls. You could... Do we know that? Yes. How do we know? Because they we weren't know. created like humans. But they're how do we know the they same. don't have souls? Not, Where does it same. say in the Bible? If they have souls, then stop eating chicken, my brother. Do, and do stop they know eating right, steak. Do they know right from wrong? No, I not really. I'm the smoker right now. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah chicken soul is being smoked, okay. and it's going to taste great. All right, listen. Derek gave the perfect ending to the show when he talked about Gamefly. The only thing that we need to do is just say, make sure they go. Derek, say one more time, where do they go? Uh, go to GameflyOffer.com slash HWT. The HWT stands for, hey, we're talking. Yes, it does. But, and but get a free trial. We're not going to end the show movies. on that. Yeah, we're not That's a good the way to end that. the show. What do you no, mean? No, that's stupid. No, we're going to end our show by clicking that link below to go and get some hey we're talking schwag yeah. swag <laughs> you're, swag you're so funny you're having a lot of trouble speaking today i know i'm tongue well it was I'm like just... that on monday too though i just and I have next some of those i days. feel like next monday wednesday and friday you'll have trouble too i just some days i have trouble talking no wait it's a probably minute. not a good thing that i'm that doing you're on, a podcast hey, we're talking. i can't talk i'm kidding maybe i shouldn't be on here no we talk. love you see no, you're not going anywhere. Well, I, I mean, if you're putting an underlying statement there, that I'm, I'm messing with not, you. I don't know how I'm to busting, talk. I'm busting gonads. Well, you know what? Before I leave this show, go down, click that link for Teespring, <laughs> get yourself a Hey, We're Talking t-shirt. It'll be vintage by the time you order it. And get yourself a mug and a hoodie and all no, that No, tell you them why. The they, you have to wait a couple of days because Teespring prints them every so often. So yeah, they so, don't send so them the immediately. Cool, yeah, the cool thing is uh, we have it just on a rotating schedule. Like every three to three days, they print shirts. That way, they're, they're printing them all at one time, and it helps to keep six. the cost down and all that stuff. So I couldn't fix what's it. that? I did some of them at six, and I couldn't fix it. I can fix it. I tried. That, they they make you can only do it once. Well, you're just gonna have to redo them. Either way, just go buy a shirt. <laughs> support the show if you like us. They're not that expensive. You're gonna spend. That's four cups of coffee at Starbucks. So just. Just go yeah, we made them, finish. like, they give you a suggested price what they should cost, and we dropped them way down. Because I was like, oh, yeah. I'm not making people spend that much money on a T-shirt. Are you kidding me? Yeah, like 24 25 bucks for a shirt. I'm like, uh-uh, no. that ain't happening. No, That's they were cheap. more than that, dude. They were a lot. They were, and the, the hoodies, hoodies like were like 40 or $50, bucks, and I was like, are you crazy? <laughs> so stupid. No, no, we cut the prices down. Yeah. Just- we're not making you, it's not like, hey, you know, we want to go into the swag business. Make sure you buy all of our merch. Swag, yeah. See, I'm I, I'm done for the week. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, we're coming back on Friday. Bob will be here. And he said that we're going to, he said that we're going to talk about the top five things you got in trouble for as a kid. Man, <laughs> my list could go on for ages. My dad's going, no kidding. There you go. See? Becky, you hear this boy? You hear this guy? 
His list could go Let's, on forever. Can we kill the show right now? <laughs> I'm not going to kill it. Like, I'm not going to well, kill we don't it. Wanna, I'm going to wrap it up. we never and be that, on again. And we'll don't Thank don't so yell. Be nice I'm at not. the end. You yelled at this us, is, though. You're, put, I, you're putting I, a bad impression to our listeners. Yeah, you make people think yelling. we're not enjoying having fun on the show. I'm enjoying it. I was thanking people. Listening All right, Derek, don't fine. Don't it's yell, oh, yell, I just yell, can't yell, take yell, it anymore. We're just going to end the show. Listen, just this. we're ending the show. Derek ruined it. Guys, have a good week. We'll see yeah. you on Friday. Yeah, jeez, Derek. <laughs>